just tell you, so this is part three now, they just tell you the answers to all the possible questions. So you know all of them anyways, and then it'll be like a 20 question test, uh, 20 to 25 question test. And this is at the end of your training, you go and do the test. Now me at the time, because I was uh, doing my master's degree and, and I wasn't as focused as I am now, I did not pay attention as much as I should have. And I thought it was going to be easy. And so I didn't study. So I had to take the test. I was a dumb fuck and had to take the twist and pay for it myself. Now you, I can't remember if the first test is free or if they pay for it. I, I think you have to pay for your test. And I failed it twice. So I was in there like all day, literally the day of remembering all the, the test questions and answers. Not only that, but you can also Google, and this everybody knows this, you can also Google the exact test that you're taking and tons of people have apps and shit where, where it gives you uh, the answers to those questions and, you know... It, it really helps, okay? So <clears throat> you pass that test, that's that's your written test. And then for me, how they did it is they would give you your drive test. The company would have uh, DMV certified instructors and anybody can become a certified instructor. You just have to go through the certification process to become an instructor. This is what people do when uh, they want to become drive, uh, you know, uh, drive school instructors for like, you know, people getting their license for the first time. It's the same thing for semi truck drivers. People uh, now it's more they have to do more and become more certified uh, and they have to show expertise for for vehicles weighing a certain amount or above. But it's it's a similar process. And so. There was test day and the test day you would go out on a course from the location in which all the instruction was going on and you would go on your drive test. There was also a, an aspect of the test where you had to show that you were able to park two different ways, a semi truck with like a normal uh, back part. I forget what the back part is called, the, the, the fucking, well, trailer with the trailer. And I think the first one was you have to show that you with with limited steps that you can basically parallel park a truck and and get like side by like like you would a normal car get on the line as as closely as you can and uh, maneuver your way uh, towards pulling up and basic, well, I guess it wouldn't be parallel. It would just be whatever the fuck it is where you're parking literally like this straight forward next to whatever spot you're, you're parking on. It's kind of hard to articulate. And then there was one where it was this long,